this video we'd like to show you the principles of color themes and how you can use that in choosing your fabrics. It's also really a fun one to learn. It's a great tool to have a color wheel and the color wheel, one like this, very inexpensive and it explains if the colors are across from each other that's called complementary. If there's three like equal distance apart on the color wheel that's a triad and um, there's split complementary well you would use this color and the two across but not right across and I'm going to show you some quilts that use these principles and so when you're choosing your fabrics you might keep that in mind it's also uh, available in a small pocket size so this is a great way to remember kind of the themes that you're looking at. This quilt called monochromatic because it's using one color theme in the, the pinks. And that's a great way to go. Your white is usually neutral. Now this color scheme is called a triad. And if you look at the color wheel, again, we have red, blue, and yellow. So they're equal distance, three colors. Again, white is neutral. So this uh, color scheme comes out to be just bright and beautiful. It's a limited palette, meaning, you know, three main colors, not a lot of colors. Usually in quilts you'll see a lot of colors, but this is just a refreshing, wonderful color scheme. Now this little quilt called Quilting Divas is really an interesting color scheme. It is a called a tetrad. So it's got pink, purple, and green, and yellow. And they're all down. They've got white added to them, so they're cut in their intensity. And that uh, even though there's a lot of color here, it is subtle. And this is uh, just a more complex color scheme, but it works really well. Here's our little poinsettia quilt done in complementary colors, and which would be across from each other on the color wheel. Now, of course, if these were... Uh, more saturated in their color, they would be a Christmas color, right? So often the point now this quilt is an analogous color scheme, and if you look at the color wheel, it has the colors that are on one side. They're all adjacent to each other. It does have a green, which is kind of a stretch for analogous, but green is often considered a neutral. Now, another th thing that is easy to do are these fabric companies and quilt designers will do a theme fabric and then several fabrics to go with that theme fabric. And these artists are very much aware of the color uh, themes and all of the colors will match beautifully that way. Pretty easy to do. Just make sure you choose one that you love. Um, even though it's all, the work's done for you, you've got to love it. Now in this little quilt, we have one block that is monochromatic. And this gives your eye a place to rest. So they're basically all the same color, different shades. And then the other parts of the quilt are leaning towards monochromatic because the, the major color is pink, but a lot of other colors are introduced. And this is a fun play with the color themes. I hope this little video has given you an idea of color themes and how they're located on the color wheel. This makes it more fun when you're looking at a quilt to have a little bit of knowledge of where the designer has uh, chosen her colors from, why they work, and it'll give your eye more training when you're going through that fabric store and trying to put colors together. And I hope this has helped you.